Robert Michael Nesmith was an American musician, songwriter, actor, producer, and novelist. He was best known as a member of the pop rock band The Monkees and co-star of the TV series The Monkees. Nesmith's songwriting credits include Different Drum. From 1965 to early 1970, Nesmith was a member of the television pop rock band The Monkees, created for the television situation comedy of the same name. Nesmith won his role largely by appearing nonchalant when he auditioned. He rode his motorcycle to the audition, and wore a wool hat to keep his hair out of his eyes. Producers Bob Rafelson and Bert Schneider remembered the wool hat guy, and called Nesmith back. Once he was cast, Screen Gems bought his song so they could be used in the show. Many of the songs Nesmith wrote for the Monkees, such as The Girl I Knew Somewhere, Mary, Mary, and Listen to the Band, became minor hits. One song he wrote, You Just May Be the One, is in mixed meter, interspersing five-fourths bars into an otherwise four-fourths structure. As part of a promotional deal, Gretsch Guitar Company built a one-off, Natural Finish, 12-string electric guitar for Nesmith when he was performing with the Monkees. The custom-made guitar was frequently cited at that time as being worth $5,000, which was undoubtedly inflated for publicity purposes. He earlier played a customized Gretsch 12-string, which had originally been a 6-string model. Nismith used this guitar for his appearances on the television series, as well as the Monkees Live appearances in 1966 and 1967. Beginning in 1968, Nesmith used a white 6-string Gibson SG Custom for his live appearances with the Monkees. He used that guitar in their motion picture head for the live version of Circle Sky and also for the final original Monkees tour in 1969. In a post on his Facebook page in 2011, Nesmith reported that both guitars were stolen in the early 1970s. After the breakup of the Monkees, Nesmith continued his successful songwriting and performing career, first with the seminal country rock group The First National Band, with whom he had a top 40 hit, Joanne, and then as a solo artist. He played a 12-string guitar, performing on a custom-built Gretsch Electric during his time with the Monkees and various 12-string acoustic models during his post-Monkees career. He was also an executive producer of the cult film Repo Man. In 1981, Nesmith won the first Grammy Award given for Video of the Year for his hour-long television show, Elephant Parts. He met his first wife, Phyllis and Barbara in 1964, while at San Antonio College. Together, they had three children, Christian, born in 1965, Jonathan, born in 1968, and Jessica, born in 1970. Nesmith and Barbara divorced in 1972. Nesmith also had a son, Jason, born in August 1968 to Nurit Wild, whom he met while working on the Monkees. In 1976, he married his second wife, Catherine Bild. In 2000, he married his third wife, Victoria Kennedy, but the marriage ended in divorce in 2011. When the Monkees TV series ended in 1968, Nesmith enrolled part-time at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied American history and music history. In 1973, Nesmith founded the Countryside Records label with Jack Holzman, the founder of Elektra Records. In 1974, Nesmith started Pacific Arts Records and released what he called a book with a soundtrack, titled The Prison, as the company's first release. Nesmith was forced to cancel the last four dates of his 2018 tour with Mickey Dolenz due to a minor health scare. In an interview with Rolling Stone published on July 26 of that year, Nesmith said he had undergone quadruple bypass heart surgery, and had been hospitalized for over a month. Nesmith died from heart failure at his home in Carmel Valley, California on December 10, 2021, at age 78. Monkey's drummer-slash-vocalist Mickey Dolenz the last surviving member of the group following Nesmith's death, said, I'm heartbroken. I've lost a dear friend and partner. I'm so grateful that we could spend the last couple of months together doing what we love best, singing, laughing, and doing shtick. I'll miss it all so much. Especially the shtick. Rest in peace, Nes. All my love, Mickey.